Hi everyone, it's Anna for Pretty Actions, and I wanted to do a quick video to show you how you can use the crop tool in Photoshop to add content to your image. So we obviously think of removing portions of our image when we think of the crop tool, but it can also be used to add information as well. So with my image open in Photoshop, I'm selecting my crop tool and making sure I have the width, height, resolution preset selected so that I can make a custom crop size. Now I want to expand this lovely blue sky so I'm going to drag the top of my image up and I'm just using the rule of thirds grid here and I'm going to release and then right click and select crop to crop my image. Now at this point I need to flatten my image so I'm selecting layer flatten image and next I'm going to select where I want to apply the sky and I'm using the magic wand tool and just brushing it over my white area here. Now I'm going to go to select, modify, expand and I want to expand this um, rectangle here at the top of my image down into my original sky here so that the two selections blend together more seamlessly. So I'm going to expand by about 100 pixels here and this would vary from image to image depending on how large your image is. So for me I have a very large original image um, so I have, I'm blending by a lot of pixels here, or I'm expanding by a lot of pixels. If you had a smaller image, you would expand by uh, less pixels. So I'm going to press OK. And you can see that it drops my original selection down into my original image. OK, next I'm going to press the Delete key. And I want to make sure that I've selected Content Aware. And now I'm going to press OK, and Photoshop is going to render my expansion here. And I'm going to fast forward at this point. So as you can see, Photoshop rendered the expansion of the sky here, but you might notice on your screen that there's a little bit of distortion in my sky here. Now, there are lots of ways to um, work around this type of situation when you do create an expansion if it does look a little bit distorted, and that's going to vary from image to image. But for this particular image, I'm going to use um, the Gaussian Blur filter to blend this in here. So first I'm going to right click, select Feather, and feather the radius of my selection at 100 pixels again. Now I'm selecting Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And how much you blur, again, is going to depend on how large your image is. Like I was saying, I have a very large image here. So I'm blurring at a lot of pixels. This is uh, at 361.8 pixels, which is quite a lot. But I'm going to press OK and right click to deselect. So as you can see now, my sky is perfectly blended here and looks pretty natural considering that we use content aware to automatically expand our selection here.